Our next guest has won countless awards for her reporting, including Journalist of the Year a few years ago. She is used to asking all the questions, but today we turn the tables and put her in the hot seat. Yes, welcome to the show, national correspondent and anchor of the Sunday edition of CBS Weekend News, Jerika Duncan. Jerika! Hey, what's up, Cleveland? Hey, welcome oh, to the girl. show. It's beautiful. You know, yes. Cleveland ladies, we always look good. And now. representing. <laughs> It now, is so, it's such an honor to be with you guys, uh, Josh and Maria. I know how many uh, people in the Cleveland area love you, love your show, love your authenticity. When I told my girlfriend that I was doing it, she's like, oh my God, tell them I said hi. Oh, she hey. also is from Cleveland. We went to school together, yeah. um, but she now lives just right over the bridge in New Jersey. In New Jersey. Oh, okay. okay. She got a local girlfriend. That's in my neck of the woods. Yeah. I'm from, originally from Washington, D.C. So. Yeah, so it works out. Okay. But Jerika, you went to Aurora High School? And you I also did. went to Ohio University, am I correct? Am I right? Yes. All right, so you're yes. a local, you're a local girl. We gotta ask you, what do you miss most about Cleveland and being home? Ooh, I miss the weather. Mm. I'm just what? kidding. A lot of people don't say that, Jerika. <laughs> the snow? I don't like... miss the weather. Um, I miss the sense of community, my family, that I have a lot of family on my mom's side in Cleveland. Mm. Um and just like what it represents, I guess, for me, my childhood, you know, we, we bounced around a lot because my father, as you, you all know, uh, was in the business. Yes. And Cleveland was the stop that I remember being in the seventh grade, we moved to Cleveland, um, Aurora, let me be specific, uh -huh. but the Cleveland area. And my dad promised me, you will graduate from high school here. Oh. And that was a big deal because we had been bouncing around like every two to three years because in television news, a lot of times you go where the big market is or the better contract, more opportunities. Um, but Cleveland is where we sort of settled and I still consider it home. I feel like I have a few homes, but Cleveland is definitely one of them. So I just miss the family, the sense of community, uh, you know, the downtown scene. It's funny, I wasn't really old enough to experience it at that time, like right, the right. West Six. West Third, the Flats. You couldn't get your drink on. Right, like you right. I really wasn't supposed to be. I really couldn't get my drink on and, you know, just have fun as an adult there because my adult years were spent in small markets. Mm -hmm. You know, Elmira, New York, and then I lived in Buffalo, New York, and then I was in Philadelphia before I came to New York City. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I, I like going back, though, to visit, and I think the summers there are beautiful. So your father, Ronnie Duncan, worked here at Channel 19. Now, did watching him as you grew up, did that have any, you know, anything to do with you going into the same career path? I think subconsciously it did. So I ended up going to Ohio University and, you know, I got involved in different programs, Sayuti and, and the broadcasting, like, college network that they had at that time. Mm -hmm. um, and the next thing you know, I was interning at Channel 5. Oh, wow. Not Channel Sorry. Right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> it's all good. But it started, it started there, but it definitely, my father's impact um, has always been there because I grew up around it. You wanting to be the first one because there's no woman representation uh, in videos. Like, what does that mentality come from? Talk a little bit about that. Um, I would say I have to give credit where credit's due. And I would say I, ha I come from a long line of women that are strong and fiercely independent and always sort of looking to break that ceiling and not even necessarily seeing it as this ceiling you have to break, but it's just what you do. Mm. And as you continue to, you know, I think of my grandmother who had my father at 17, but went back to school. She got her um, high school education and then she went on to get her um, undergraduate degree. And then she went on and got a master's degree and she taught. I think about, you know, my aunt who also went a step further and she's a she's a doctor um phd certified all of that uh and i just you know when you come from that and you you understand the importance of working hard and you do have a father too that has been incredibly supportive both of my parents um i don't know that i look at i have to break this ceiling but there's definitely 
a part of me that always wants to do more. Mm. Marika, thank you so much for yeah. joining us. Look, you make us proud. A yes, local that was definitely. so much fun. Yeah, was, we're done. Look, we're done. Look, local <laughs> woman and a big market out there crushing it. We want to talk to you some Keep more. Keep so. yes. Come back to the show anytime, and good luck thank with everything you so that you're much. doing. We'll thank see you. one of your That's music videos one day. All right? <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. We got more Cribs in the CLE. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back.